Hey, what's up YouTube? So I'm back here at Colonial City Lanes in Mount Vernon. And of course the restaurant over there with the green awning, Carpalli's Restaurant and Tavern. And uh, we are gonna go in and we are gonna do another collection. Um, lately, Things haven't been as promising because this is their slow season, so um, there may or may not be any money in here, but let's find out. All right, we are inside at the machine and I've got the door open. And actually, I'm surprised. There's, there's a decent little amount of dollars and I can see some, well, you can't see them from here, but there's some coins down in there. Give me a second and I'll get the coins out and we'll take a look. Okay, so there's not too many quarters in there. A couple bucks worth. And then we will. <clears throat> Oops. Oh, but that's right, I already took it out. Let's see. Sorry, I don't have the best camera angles here. I'm doing this by myself, I don't have a camera guy. But uh, let's see, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, about nine dollars, a couple dollars a quarter. Not, uh, not too bad considering the last two weeks I didn't have anything come into this machine. But uh, I'll talk to you guys here in a sec. Okay, guys. So I'm walking back out to the car because the place was shutting down. There was only one person in there, and I don't know. That's just like anything I say. Anybody, could, you could hear a whisper. So. I just decided that uh, I would just kind of be brief and I didn't have to clean the machine this time but so in a week it collected three dollars and quarters we are back at the car and uh, three dollars and quarters and nine dollars in cash now when it comes to pinball um, the the thing about it is is uh, until I get this location the way I want it to it's not going to collect a fortune. Um, a few, it's been about a month and a half out of the whole total, uh, sorry, I'm just kind of staring at the ground. I'm just trying not to stare at cars or anything. There's not much in this parking lot to look at. I don't want to catch license plates, but, uh, let me, um, so here we'll stare at the car <laughs> anyways. Um, basically, when it comes to um, Colonial City Lanes in the wintertime, they have a ton of business. And when I first got the machine in here early spring, this place was packed. And then as the month ended from the beginning, of the, like the first four weeks, I got about a hundred bucks. And then after that hundred, the next month, it was like a $20, $15, then two weeks of nothing. And then it went, to two more weeks of nothing and then finally a couple of bucks and then now I got 12 bucks so it's picking back up a little bit but in that area which you've seen in my previous video it is in the restaurant and it's surrounding the dinner tables so basically what that amounts to is people are playing around people that are eating and I think that I love pinball but personally I'm a little bit weirded out about playing, um, about literally, you know, playing around people that are eating. It's just kind of weird because I just want to jam out on the pinball machine, you know, and it's just like, unless it's dead back there, it makes you kind of uncomfortable. So I think that during business hours, that's a lot of the reason why people aren't stepping up to the machine. Plus it's in that little cubby corner back there. And unless you know exactly where that spot is, you can walk this entire building and you're not gonna find it unless you go in there to eat and you happen to walk back to that back room. Um, you just literally don't see it until you stumble upon it. And one of the reasons we put it there to begin with is because at the time he didn't have an area ready for it. He was doing some renovation stuff, moving stuff around, but whatever kind of remodeling stuff he was doing. And it couldn't go in the sports bar and it couldn't go in the bowling alley because he owns the sports bar and he owns the tavern, but he does not own the bowling alley. 
him and one of his family members, brothers or something, I, I don't know if I got that right or not, but they, they decided to split the business or whatever. So he took control of that and the guy I'm dealing with took control of the other two businesses. So I mean, the guy I'm dealing with does own the entire building and does run those two, those two bars or slash restaurant. You know, he does all the live music and he runs the volleyball league that's here, which is around the, the other side of the building, which you can't see. Um, you can see that awning way off to the side coming off the edge of the building. It's, it's back that way is where the volleyball area is and the outdoor bar section, um, whatnot. But anyways, uh, en enough rambling. We checked the machine. I didn't need to clean it this time. It didn't get much play. Uh, we collected at least 12 bucks. So it wasn't a loss, but it wasn't a gain. Um, I have a feeling through these summer months, the collections are going to be like this every week, week and a half um, until we get back into the busy season. Now, I want you guys to stay tuned because anybody that is interested in this line of work, wanting to get into game routing, and especially pinball, um, you know, for me doing these collections, you're, you're going to get a bird's eye view of what it's like to have pinball in a bad location because that just happens to be where I ended up out of the gate, my first machine on location in just not the right spot. Um, but a bowling alley has major potential, especially with a sports bar that does live music and whatnot. And a bowling alley, I mean, it's the only bowling alley in Mount Vernon. So when bowling is in, is in full swing in the winter months and whatnot, it, this place is packed. So, um, you know, I'm confident once I work with the owner and we get the pinball machine relocated in this location, we're going to start seeing larger collections. And as I get more pinball machines, which is going to be a long process, trust me, it's not easy for me to obtain pinball machines. It's a lot of money. You know, I paid, what, $8,700 for Elvira premium. And uh, I, I want to stick with premiums. So every time I buy a new machine, that's going to cost me a whopping $8,700. And not to mention if I put expression lighting or anything else on the machines, that's extra on top of those, you know, costs. So uh, building pinball is a slow process for me, but I'm going to get there. And when I get multiple machines, I'm going to try and work with this guy to get this area into like a barcade style setup to where I actually have a pinball room here where I can you know, have multiple machines and actually maybe even run tournaments or something, get a local league started or something. Um, I, I have plans I'm working on, but you know, it's gonna be far off in the distance. So for now, um, keep watching and tuning in, checking out these collections and you know, see how a location like this is gonna treat you and, and, and watch the difference in the same building that occurs once I finally relocate the machine and um, you know down the road see what happens as I add multiple machines I mean you know I just uh, if you're interested like subscribe and we'll see you on the next one hey what's up sorry I'm in my car so the uh, since it's dark there's not uh, phone in reverse you know no light kind of makes it crappy and if I turn my overhead light on it'll just blind the picture so I decided to uh, just keep it somewhat dark just wanted to mention that uh, just just understand that uh, if you're gonna get into pinball it's gonna be a rough road with just one machine to start like I'm starting with but I, I really want people to follow this so they can see what it's like to get a pinball machine on location. And so you can see, um, you know, in different spots, you know, what your potential is on these machines and what these machines can do, you know, if you get a collection versus one machine. Um, I think until you become a destination, you know, on the pinball side of game routing, you're gonna be in the low income area it's just, you know, unless you just happen to be in, 
the middle of downtown whatever and and it's just like an incredible population and regardless of it being one machine there's just so many passerbys that it just gets a ton of play but uh, most of the time pinball is going to thrive in locations where I'm at you know or a barcade setting is something of that nature um, especially with the way things are going right now the the barcades are what's hot and and there are some barcades that are showing up in in, in uh, bowling alleys and stuff but uh, again I don't have the best spot in this place and it's just where it had to go to begin with that's why I want everybody to, to keep watching because where it's going to go should get better and you'll be able to see the setting the type of area you know the type of surrounding what, what, whatever it is you know along with what kind of increase in profit it brings um but just know that even though my collections might be kind of brief in there it's because i'm trying not to record people and it's i'm not trying to bother people talking and recording I suppose I could probably do better recording if I was just doing it silent and did a voiceover at the end of it. You know, as some people do in their videos, but I just kind of like to be live and direct. And I hope that uh, in, in the future, like, I, you know, my content gets better and people get drawn in. I mean, I, mean, I don't know how boring I might be. I don't know how exciting I might be. Um, but I do appreciate anybody that follows along and sees where this goes. Um, but to show you a collection with $12 should be proof enough that uh, these videos are real, these collections are real, and I'm not trying to spoof anybody and, you know, play games or make fake content. Um, if I was going to make fake content, I wouldn't show you a $12 collection. I'd rig it up to where it was decent because, you know huge enormous collection videos do really well on youtube so um you know if you're if you're one of those people with tons of subscribers and large collection videos you know you get a lot of popularity but i'm not trying to sugarcoat anything this is the reality of this location what it's making right now currently and why it's making what it's making is due to the spot that it's in and the fact that the summer hours are decreased here so they're only open three days a week right now it won't be until the colder months set in that they go back up to full-time hours because the business just doesn't come in here outside of like you know thursday friday saturday sunday pretty much so i just wanted to add that in at the end of the video um Again, like, subscribe, comment below. Thanks for watching.